What's up guys, Joey here for Tech, and as we all know, there are so many different types of smartphones nowadays with different features and of course, wildly varying price points. Now let's say you're looking to buy a brand new phone but you're on a very, very tight budget. What do you do? Do you just go ahead and look for the absolute cheapest phone out there without any precursor? Or do you make a more educated decision? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. We're going to be taking a look at one of our favorite entry-level smartphones to come out this year, the Realme C2. And we're going to see why it deserves to be the ultimate choice for people on a tight budget. A gatekeeper of sorts. All right, let's check out the specs and price just in case you need a reminder. You get a 6.1-inch IPS display with a dewdrop notch that's protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3. You get a Helio P22 chipset, 2 or 3 gigabytes of RAM, 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal storage, dual rear cameras, a single front camera, Color OS 6 Lite on top of Android 9 Pie for software, and a hefty 4,000 mAh battery. You get all of that for either 4,990 pesos or 5,000 90 pesos, depending on how much RAM and storage you decide to get. Now, for those who on a really, really tight budget, let's say below 5,000 pesos, let's check out a couple of your options. Perhaps you could get the Cherry Mobile Flare Y7 LTE for 4,299 pesos, or maybe the iTel P33 Plus for 3,499 pesos. Now, those two phones are quite cheap, but what do they have in common? Four words, one gigabyte of RAM. Now, what does this mean? Well, nowadays, when you have a smartphone with only one gigabyte of RAM, chances are you're gonna be stuck with Android Go Edition, which, for all intents and purposes, is not a completely bad thing, but it's not the full Android experience nonetheless. You only have access to light variants of some apps in the Google Play Store, and not to mention when you try to install games and stuff, they're not gonna run smoothly. Again, guys, you only have one gigabyte of RAM. Another thing with devices like this, you can't really expect to take good photos with the camera. Taking a look at these photos shot with the iTel P33 Plus, they're not exactly up to par with modern standards. And now, these are photos taken with, you guessed it, the Realme C2. That's just a drastic upgrade in quality, and for me, that alone makes the price jump worth it. So basically, what we're trying to say is this. Yes, maybe you're on a tight budget, Maybe it's below 5,000 pesos, but if you want our advice, see if you can save a little bit more money and go for something like the Realme C2 instead. If you do, you're going to be getting a phone with a cool design that has a unique look unlike any other phone, a big screen, decent entry-level performance and cameras, a big battery, and of course, full-on Android 9 Pie. Again, the Realme C2 is priced at 4,990 pesos for the 2 gig RAM 16 gig storage variant, or 5,990 pesos for the 3 gig RAM 32 gig storage variant. All right, so that wraps up this video. If you found it helpful, please do let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit newgotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.